Well, well, it has been a minute, <laughs> but we are back with some more NTW3. Uh, I hope you guys are all doing well. For those who do not know, my name is Kingston, and welcome if you are new. Now we got some rain here. Uh, but we are on a scenario. So with 9.2, NTW3 9.2, they added scenarios back in, and that's what we're going to be doing today. Albiro is the scenario today. It is a 3v4, actually, just how the scenario is set up. Um, people are telling me it was a really good one, and a lot of people are telling me that it was a really, really close one, a really well-played one. So I am actually really excited and psyched to uh, see this. Uh, these teams go up against each other. Um, already, we have a French move here on the left side here. Uh, this is going to be Salt, the ninth, uh, the ninth pointer, I should say. I almost call him a ninth core. Uh, but yeah, the whole of Salt is advancing on the left here. In fact, he has some more that are going more in the center. Um, let's see where the rest of... Oh, this is all just Salt. I just realized that. It is just one whole Salt player. He's going to assault the enemy. Sorry, I had to do the pun. I had to. I couldn't stop myself. Once I popped my head, it was over. I think actually we had an NE match um, on this... Uh, map recently uh, but of course any is a little different than ntw3 i'm sure this one's gonna be very glorious so uh you know get your get your drinks get your coffee if it's the morning you know get your beer whatever you drink i don't know maybe underage don't drink alcohol if you're underage <laughs> uh but yes we have some dragoons it looks like some light dragoons for the uk setting up by this bridge this will be a crossing point most likely that the french may want to try to take um, but already, actually, they have gotten across the river, which is one of the biggest parts of this map, is getting across the river, getting a foothold. And as you can see, already getting quite the foothold. They have a lot of cavalry pushed up uh, very, very far out. Got some Polish Lancers here, as well as uh, some Hussars. And looks like they're actually going to start this battle off going in with a juicy, and when I say juicy, I'm saying juicy Polish bayonet charge. Or, uh, Lancer charge hitting some dragoons from Spain and boy did they give it to them um, Now they are of course taking some losses They're gonna retreat and they're gonna send in some Chester Cheval as well as some Hussars uh, Breaking the Spanish Cav throwing back any calves so their armies can push forward They're gonna probably try to set up a screen of sorts um, and stop the enemy the Spanish from even knowing where they're at We do have some infantry now in the foreground as uh, these Dragoons may actually come back if they don't chase them down. But yes, the Spanish actually may have gotten caught out a little bit. Um, now, it looks like the French are not concentrating a lot on this side. All of their forces have gone over here. Um, so they're taking a gamble that the Coalition is not going to attack on their left side. Or on the Spanish right. No, Spanish left, French right. I know my directions, I promise. But we do have line infantry pushing up. We do have the 40th. Um, as well as probably some... I'm sure there's light infantry in this mix as well. But just so far, look at these guys. They are ready to conquer the world. Or conquer Spain, at least, for Napoleon. Um, I just did the 12-12 AD replay recently. Uh, if you don't know what that game is, go check it out. It's a really cool um, scenario I'm doing. But the reason I bring it up is, man, the graphics... This is an older game than that, and it still looks just as good as the old, as this the newer games that are made. It just, Napoleon, guys, it's just, it doesn't get better than this. It really doesn't. Like, look at this. It's a pity that the machine doesn't run smoother. If it was a newer game, maybe it runs smoother, and this game would just be even better than it was before. Uh, we do have horse artillery that is setting up here. The beautiful thing about the horse artillery, very quick, very hard hitting. They have really good reload skill, so they can reload rapidly, and they have really good accuracy. These guys are going to lay down the pain, and with the French having such a cab dominant force over here, and they're even scouting over here with some Hussars, they have those Lancers, those Polish Lancers who are still, you know, oh my goodness, look at that. The first infantry to die, and they all die. Rip, they are defending this sign. I mean, this is like a, like a, you know, this is where the town is, like a sign to direct them along this crossroads. But yeah, the artillery driving back the French. Oh man, they are really putting the hurt on the Spanish. Spain is actually being forced back just by that. They're going behind this hill, which if you look at the slopes here, 
It's actually a pretty good uh, slope. This is the better friend uh, Spanish infantry, though. Very excellent Spanish infantry. These guys are still getting hit. Are these dragoons? Are grenadiers? No, I don't think so. But they have an excellent position here. Now, I'm, I'm not going to want to miss this side because we do have the French actually advancing over here. And the UK are the ones who are meeting them with some uh, Portuguese skirmishers, which the Boltiers are going to take on a 1v1. Line infantry pushing up. Of course, we do have more Portuguese line infantry so i don't see any uk infantry yet yeah no no uk forces here they do have artillery though and some cavalry and the artillery is firing so the french are are pushing across the river on this side uh trying to but this is honestly the biggest push here this is very obviously the massive push uh, they have more reserves some light infantry just waiting to push across here here goes the mighty advance the first the first line with the reserves in reserve rhetorical statement the reserves in reserve but yeah, that's front, front lines pushing up they have skirmishers certain oh man i'm being repetitive i was gonna say the skirmishers are skirmishing they're doing their job basically but uh the french are definitely staying a little back they seem very defensive at this point in time um ooh, look at these guys Look at the uniforms, the green, the red. Got some top hats. Oh, yeah. Okay, hold that thought. I hear Cav. Oh, my goodness. Once again, Spain just getting caught out as those Lancers or Chester, Cheval, and Dragoons charge in. And uh, really putting pressure on them. We are seeing the UK, though. The UK are forming up. I think they should have some reserves. Um, trying to support the Spanish line But they do look good. I love these long lines The goal for To conquer um, Skirmishers still out in front and the French line has not advanced yet They may be still trying to push up their reserve line um, Pushing their units across the river. We do look like we have artillery that is going to set up we also have some French infantry, Sir, grenadiers. Sir, our general is under attack. Oh, you're... I guess he is under attack. Got hit by artillery. We have forces Chile sitting way over here. But yes, France is pushing all their infantry across this river. Artillery is going to be, I'm assuming, pushing up. Uh, they do want to hold this river crossing because Spain is actually putting some pressure on this flank. Um... Yeah, these skirmishers probably don't want to be too close to line infantry. They could die pretty quickly here. And we do have a volley being set. I don't know why the shooting isn't Our working. Men are running, oh my goodness, I missed the cav engagement. Oh my gosh. So much heavy horse of the UK going in and actually drive back the French cavalry. Now these Chasseurs Cheval are still going to try to do their best. Um, more cav for the UK charging in. So I've got some light dragoons taking on the... Chasseur Cheval and uh, French Dragoons. Both sides having had a lot of losses. All the UK looks like they have some line infantry helping out. And more Spanish Cap now going in to defend. I mean, the French actually don't look like they're doing too great on this side. As uh, the UK have quite a dominant amount of cavalry here. And French Dragoons getting surrounded. These oh, poor oh, guys. I need to get rid of this picture in picture though. I don't, I, don't, I don't like having it. It just ruins the atmosphere. I'm all about the atmosphere, man. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah, so now Spain, having helped out, they're going to take a charge against the Dragoons. I think they sent in some of their lights, which actually broke the, the French Dragoons. That is shocking. Now, the UK are pushing up. They are going to try to go for this artillery piece. So you see now... Uh-oh. This horse artillery is definitely going to die. They need to throw the cap immediately. These guys, you can see, they're running as fast as they can. Can they get out of there in time? Oh, get on your horse. Uh-oh. Yep, they're going to send in the cab. Brave cab trying to save the artillery, but they are going to break immediately. Oh, no. They're going to lose the horse artillery? Yep, they're going to lose it. Oh, they're running, though. They're running. Oh, can they get away? No way. No way these guys get away. I know there's less stuff happening. I'm trying to focus on it. Oh my goodness, they saved the artillery. 
that has to be one of the craziest saves I've ever seen. Now the UK are assaulting with the Spanish. They are pushing into one massive line here. In fact, it looks like France has advanced across the bridge as well. They are even pushing up on this side. Also, some cab charged in, which those Voltaires broke them. It's unfortunate for this French army. Uh, they could use those skirmishers. We got more UK troops pouring down the road. This is going to be actually a tough cookie um, for the uh, French to break as they're going to probably form up in the city, making it very tough for them. Now, the cav advantage has shifted from the Spanish or from the uh, Spanish to the French and now back into the Spanish UK favor. Now the French do still have some cavalry here. Dragoons, they're resting up some Chasseur Cheval in that uh, Dragoon unit. Uh, and the horse artillery is set up once more. This could, if they lost this, guys, it would have been probably a massive blow to their flank. They need this horse artillery to drive back. Um, honestly, the cat, they should be focusing on the calf here, in my opinion. Uh, but oh my goodness, France is going to do terribly here. Uh, as the UK just have some better shooting stats and are just going to chop up these French line infantry as they are fighting. is sending some beautiful volleys but so are the spanish france and spain exchanging heavy volleys here and spain actually looks to be doing a little better in this mix up at this point in time these skirms actually really will help out this side because they are so far away um this fight is going to be a little rough i think the french actually are a little disadvantaged here they do have some grenadiers i do believe in the back yes some grenadiers that they could send in to help break the enemy. They are poised and ready to go in and be using the road to get up quickly. Over on this side, France. Oh, this is not looking good for them, guys. Really not looking good. The Portuguese have chunky units and they have reserves now. Reinforcements plus artillery plus a huge wave, uh, like a whole line on this side that could crush them. This building has fallen to the enemy. This is not looking promising, but wow. The UK lost some infantry already. And hopefully the sound isn't too loud. I've been tinkering with the sound. My my mic was actually too loud. And uh, it was kind of overpowering the game audio. So hopefully it's not the opposite now. Now, this flank looks quite terrible in my opinion. Useless salute. What? Okay. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but what the heck? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I really don't know. Oh, hold that thought. We have some cab that charge in for the artillery. The artillery was saved by a square, but that cab may come back and now be behind. But oh, also hold that thought. We have a huge bayonet charge here. France going in with the line infantry. This is what they do best, guys. Not standing and shooting. Also, they may want to get a square up and ready and disengage this line infantry. Um, because the, the Spanish probably going to charge some cabin. Um, the thing is, oh my gosh, I missed another oh, one. How can I keep missing these? I'm so out of practice, it would seem. So the French went in with a cab charge. They're breaking this flank, my goodness. And now the French are going in with a bayonet charge. They have some line infantry tearing up the square. Cab in the back lines has finally been broken. And now this UK reserve is going to be really needed desperately as the French are pushing in two sides. They're losing on certain parts of the battlefield, but they're winning on others. So, man, it is going back and forth. I love it. Already, you can tell that both sides have some knowledge in how to break the enemy. It's just who can get, you know, to the other first. The UK have four of their troops here. This is going to be a little more difficult for the French to attack because I don't see a way to really go around the flank very easily in this town. Um, and you don't want to frontally bayonet charge the UK. It is suicide, usually. You don't want to do it. You want to wait. Bide your time. Be patient. The French are falling back, so you're going to have some better ground. You can push your artillery up. And you can see over here, they are pushing forward line infantry as the Spanish are falling back, mainly because their whole right flank has been compromised. Um, but they are the UK are pushing up a forward line. France actually didn't get too much of a game there. They did break some of the troops. But when you see yourself get bayonet charged, guys, you have to fall back. You have to not give the enemy a whole flank. 
If they start charging your flank, you sacrifice that unit and you All pull back immediately. Up. All right, so we got another fight here. Looks like some cavalry, some Chester Cheval going in against the UK Cav. Not going well, but they are sending in some Hussars. Maybe they can break them. The UK, I think, have realized, or the Coalition, I should say, have realized that the French don't have a lot here in just artillery, so they are advancing some massive units. Um, if they can sweep this flank, they can push it on this side. Imagine if they can push this flank, destroy this French, and keep pushing. We do have more French infantry pushing in. Those Grenadiers going in against the Spanish. This is where Spain needs to start falling back their troops immediately. Pull back this line and pull back this line. Sacrifice that side. You need to not try to engage in melee here. However, they are sending a counter bayonet charge here. And it may start breaking the uh, French. We do have some cab that charged in, so a square was formed. France seems to be doing very well. Oh, they're going to get a beautiful charge in this massive uh, Spanish column here. And you can see they are punching a hole straight through the UK um, towards the guns, actually. They're going straight for the guns. This right flank is constantly falling back. And this whole, this is the problem, guys, right here. This problem, they actually, the Spanish are sending in some more troops. Maybe some Grenadiers. The man of the teeth must rest them. There is cab, guys way back here so the uk are having to be very cautious that horse artillery is still firing in fact they got a beautiful flank i would set them up right here and fire on the flank of spain and not even push your infantry you don't want to get shot up but oh my goodness we have more line of tree pushing forward multi gears going into melee what counter charge by spain beautifully executed give cavalry now pushing up uh, but France is going straight for the skirmishers. And quite honestly, seems to be angling straight for this artillery piece. As more artillery sort of set up, they need to deal with this artillery. Uh, they've got the coalition who are pushing on the flank. France is going to have to fall back across the river, maybe. Have some artillery set up and just be defensive. But probably reserves are going to start shifting over here. Yep, you can see reserves pulling up to prepare to form a second line as France is going very hard at this point. And France is actually getting beaten back, but they have taken out a lot of the Spanish infantry. We have yet another bayonet charge by the French. Constantly forward motion. They are not stopping. The Spanish probably need to send in some cab. Turn one unit, start firing on the flank. This is what I do. I would select this guy and tell him to fire at this guy. I'd push this guy this way. Push this guy, turn him like this, and start firing on the flank. They need to get Cav in here. Turn these guys and shoot. Oh my goodness, the UK are needed so badly. Cav behind the lines too. This is really bad. The Coalition is struggling here, guys. They are in melee and they... they this is like the, the Imperials. I'm trying to like say so much at once. The Imperials know how to play the Imperials. That much is very obvious. Um, you want to be into melee. You want to march towards the enemy constantly. What they're doing is what you want to do, guys. They're constantly advancing, constantly putting pressure, not giving the Coalition a chance to form up and shoot. Um, this whole side, I think the Coalition needs to be falling back to like way over here. They need to be marching. All this Spanish infantry needs to be marching far away, like way far away. They need to meet up with their reserves. And this whole reserve army is not going anywhere. I'm really surprised they haven't pushed them up to save the Spanish. You can just tell the Spanish, hey, fall back your troops in reserve. Let us take a shot, you know, at shooting. Because the French keep charging. They're going to get tired. These guys are winded. These guys have been in melee. They are tired. They have some reserves they're pushing up. But the units are going to get tired here. Spain needs to fall back and let the UK form up in a line here. Let Spain rest. Let these fresh UK troops that have a beautiful, uh, you know, accuracy and reloading just volley point blank into the French wow what is this unit doing here <laughs> now France has not taken the village yet um, but they are driving back the UK quite decisively uh, Spain still getting hit quite hard 
and now the cavalry is uh, still behind here. And you can see they are just trying to route as many units as possible. Maybe going for guns, general, anything like that. This horse artillery is super... They can, they can reposition now. This is how you should use a horse artillery. You don't stick in the same position. Limber back up and move them over here. Get that flanking fire. Start firing in behind. Uh, here we go, though. We got some French cav. And this artillery is going to point blank. Oh, my goodness, they are. No! Oh, my gosh! I feel shocked. I, I legitimately feel like I witnessed something terrible right there. That was off the canister. That was wrong. That was wrong on so many levels. I knew that was going to happen, too. I saw him walk, marching back. That was... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Who knows how many men were killed. Now, France is going in to the town here. UK, see, they're getting a board. Like, see, you can't charge the, the UK board. These guys are getting obliterated. They're going to break. Um, what do we got here? I don't know what that is, but the UK are in the town. Uh, the reserves pushing over here. Um, yeah, it's... France is starting to lose a little steam here. They're starting to lose just a little bit of their push. The town fight still going well, but the UK seem to be actually throwing them back now. You can't charge the UK in the front. Now they are getting a beautiful charge on the rear of this UK, which is how you want to do it. And uh, the Portuguese being traitors are just shooting, you know, the UK. And they're going to break them. But over here, see this? This this is bad. Now, this this is good right here. But this is bad. Don't charge this unit. Charge from the side. Work around. This artillery is going to get broken. The UK need to fall back. They need to abandon the guns. It doesn't matter. The guns are not worth your army. What is this whole line doing? That's what I want to know. These guys could be used right here. Even a couple pushed over here to attack the horse artillery. Because look at this. Where's horse artillery even firing? Uh, okay, so yeah, the French have definitely caught the UK with their pants down, as it were. And uh, this is going to be a rough one. I mean, their units are probably very tired. They got to watch out. Because their units are going to keep pressing forward. Oh my gosh. See, they, they keep pushing forward and they're getting point blanked once more. These are grenadiers, guys. They need to be in melee. And they are going to finally get into melee, but the UK are sacrificing them so they can fall back and reform their lines. They need to form up the lines, like, way over here. Maybe use this slope to make it so this horse artillery can't really, uh, you know, attack as easily. The UK are bravely sacrificing some men here. Or this, I, guess, I keep seeing the UK flag because they're Portuguese. But they're breaking up plenty of troops here. They are going to bravely hold the line. We have some assault columns going in. One of them ought to make it, but they're still going to take losses. Oh. They took some heavy losses there. What is this unit? And more Portuguese greatly holding the line. I love this push they're giving. Look at this. They are point blanking this, these French units that are probably exhausted. Trying to melee. And remember, the UK still have this building. Who do they have in here? Okay, some skirmishers. So they could shake this house pretty easily. And here we go. So this Portuguese unit is going to be overwhelmed and swamped now. Um, maybe a worthwhile sacrifice. Who knows? But the UK can't let this Portuguese contingent of forces go die in vain. The Spanish are counterattacking here, it looks like. Cavalry going in, though. Beautiful charge. Trying to route this whole flank here. They're trying to isolate the Spanish. If they can, then the UK will be all alone. And it does look like the Spanish are going to get isolate and destroy. Look at this one guy going against the Dragoon. Ooh, it's getting sliced up, but these Dragoons are going to probably start dying rapidly to uh, the masses unless they get some reinforcements. Or not, they broke them. Well done.
They still have plenty of cav, and that's what's hurting the coalition. This fight, though, is going quite well still. I think I well done for the coalition. They have really, really broken up any advances that the French have made have been paid in blood. Like, they are making the French pay for going into melee with them, I think. And let's see what kind of troops they have. A lot of Portuguese. They do have some UK troops, though, on the flank. Wow. And this guy's a brand uniform. He looks like he came from a uh, noble family. Won't matter when he's in the ground dead, because I'm sure he's going to die. Spanish cab still alive. They broke some of the French cab in the back. The UK are throwing up for more Portuguese. And that may be their downfall, is they just have so much Portuguese, but the French are not getting a flank anymore. And uh, these Portuguese are finally going to get into this fight. These guys are probably fresh compared to the exhausted and tired units of France who have taken losses. Let's see if the Portuguese can make their stand. Let's see if they can do it. We do have... The, the UK need to stop adjusting their lines. They need to stand there and shoot. Oh, can they fire? Oh, they got a volley off before. Beautiful volley. They're going to break that first unit. And now pull back. They actually have a flank here. Look at this. Okay. Um, Coalition is trying to go into melee with the French, which is going to go terribly for them. The Coalition just keeps trying to melee. They can't do melee, guys. They can't. Um, another bayonet charge. Maybe we'll be successful, but they did get a couple volleys in. It's artillery. Hopefully it doesn't get some friendly fire. Yeah, I think the coach are going to lose this one, guys. They just keep trying to melee. Oh, look at this. The UK getting bayonet charged in the flank here. But these are some fusiliers. Ooh, supported by some more of this French... Force. What is this? Some Grenadiers actually could do well, but they're getting flanked. They're wavering. Um, that could be a huge flank that the Coalition could make work for them. They can push them across and start hitting the French in the flank. Oh my goodness, the Coalition is actually fighting back quite viciously, guys. I see French morale wavering here and breaking, especially on this flank. The artillery got some beautiful shots into this 64 infantry the portuguese still holding this right side can the coalition bring this back oh my goodness maybe they will bring this back there's a huge mass route by france the general i think has also been routed from the battlefield artillery trying to throw in some uh, suppressing fire maybe try to pin down some of these uk units skirmishers on the side here this combat gen is trying to hold the flank against some grasshoppers. That is a pretty even match. And the UK have thrown back Salt. Oh my goodness, guys. Oh, uh, we have a bayonet charge. Yes, we do. Some units trying to change the course of this battlefield. They have to set the momentum now. But the Portuguese are turning to face them. Oh, they should have kept firing. But the morale is looking pretty wavery. And there's still some Dragoons. They can... Oh my goodness, the mass route. The mass route. France needs to... Oh my gosh, that is payback. Alright, so Salt is pulling back his troops. Hopefully he comes back. I don't know if he's going to. Um, what the heck? How did the UK get behind? The French. France is losing this field, guys. They are starting to lose this battle. They still have a forward attack, though. The Portuguese morale just so bad in their, their melee so bad. They can shoot, but that's about it. France needs to clutch it out with this left flank they have. And the coalition needs to consolidate, consolidate. 
because it's anyone's game still. I really thought the Coalition was going to lose this one, um, but they definitely may not. They could easily still win this. They just got to utilize their cab to the best effect in line infantry. Resting the troops up. They're wavering, though. They're going to go for a bayonet charge against more Portuguese. If the Coalition can consolidate their forces, they are focusing down this one side. They are focusing this one side, which France has very little forces left. Unfortunately, they have very little left. And uh, if the Coalition can consolidate here, they can easily win this. Um, and France is breaking the Portuguese corner. There are some UK forces left. That's huge. That is huge. Um, they need to see to keep folks on the side. Oh, the UK are forming up. Can they get a form up before the French get there? Let's get a more zoomed out view here. Uh oh. Oh no. Goodbye, Theodore. Actually, that was not the greatest charge. And the UK are falling back towards the town, which is wise. They have probably units they can set in the LOC. Um, <clears throat> but the French Dragoons pushing down the town. Oh, we have a general. I would go for the general. I'd go for the throat. Go for the head of the snake. And I'm not calling Wellesley or what that is, a snake. I'm not actually calling him, but you know, it's just, it, it's a, it's a expression, guys, okay? For all you Wellington lovers out there, it's an expression. <laughs> uh, see, they're going straight at the UK. This is going to go terribly. Now, maybe they can volley this line and drop a lot of them. But see how fast these guys are firing? So they're dropping fast. Oh, the general's going to die. Wow. Rough day, dude. Rough day. Somehow the UK general did not die in that as walking past between the crossfire. Um, all right, if these guys stop farming, they can maybe win this. But if they keep farming, it's going to be over for them. Oh no, the French are getting surrounded here. They're trying to pour in a volley on the flank. It is so close. Who's gonna break first? The, the morale of the UK, they lost a general, but the French lost a general too. Oh no, it's over. Rats. That's unfortunate. Oh, they broke, wow. There is artillery still left here. Where are they gonna fire? Dragoons still on the field, French infantry advancing. This has been a bloody fight, guys. Like a vicious and bloody. Yeah, these guys need to stop farming. Just, just, just attack with your ally. Worry about farming later. Let's see if this artillery can get a kill. Oh, they're reloading. The pookie pants are coming for you. Oh, they're getting, a, they're gonna get a fire. No, they're not. No, they're not. Oh, are they? Nope. That's unfortunate. Uh, the UK are going to go into this the LOC. Are a the French still have a united force. They have horse artillery and they have infantry falling back to that horse artillery. Um, man, this is going to be a tough one to see who's going to win. There's nothing left. If you look at LOCs, if you want to win, I think you have to take this center LOC. I mean, you guys, you could take these um, other ones. Yeah, but the French, it would be madness for them to try to take this. I don't think they have enough forces here. I'm going to fast forward here. I mean, it was only 20 minutes, wait, 35 minutes so far for this replay. It felt like it went by like that. I mean, man, it was fast. It was so fast paced. I love, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad that uh, people suggested this replay. It was definitely worth it and very beautifully executed on both sides. Um, like I said, the Portuguese maybe could have tried to not melee as much, tried shooting a little bit more. Maybe that would have helped. I don't know. 
Um, we do have, it looks like, some of the UK advancing on the French who are trying to defend the river. Crossing. The carnage, guys. This poor village is never going to be the same. Imagine trying to clean up the dead after a battle like this. I mean, this is everywhere. The Ted are everywhere in this field. But well fought. I loved it. It was a lot of fun. Here we go. Can they get a volley off? Oh, come on. Give me the sound. Oh, that's unfortunate. They broke them. The grasshopper's getting that volley off. Horse artillery could be the saving grace as the French are going to fall back. They need to, uh, they don't have enough. The UK, I, th I think the French are gonna lose this one. Um, they are gonna get surrounded by the UK who are much stronger. We have some Portuguese line infantry left. The Spanish are gone, but the UK are left. All right, um, I don't know why the sound is glitching out. But, you can fix it just by doing that. Just, you know, if you ever want to know how to fix your audio. Alright, we have uh, the French advancing, trying to take out maybe the three units here. The grasshoppers, oh, they're getting volleyed away. We have horse artillery who's going to probably try to help out here, though. Yeah, they're running. Are they running their force? No, they're just moving really fast. And this horse artillery could save the day, I guess. Yeah, they're going for this unit. Oh, they're missing. How could you miss? They're right in front of you. Oh, that's why, guys. So, they did an attack order directly on the unit. You need to click behind the unit. Um, like, if they had clicked right here, it would have gone through the unit and it would have killed a lot more of them. You just don't do attack orders. Just, just a helpful hit from Kingston. <laughs> oh, this brave unit. Sacrificed. Paying the ultimate sacrifice. 40th. <laughs> they, uh, they tried stopping the coalition. Why is there units shooting over here? Is there something over here? Or is it just a farm? It's a petting zoo. It, no, it's a farm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna fast forward just a little bit here. But, oh man, look at the advance. There's just carnage everywhere. Just fleeing troops everywhere. The French at some point are gonna have to stop and just stand and fight. You know, don't prolong the inevitable. That's what I say. If I know I've lost, I'm not gonna just run away. Unless I think I can win by LOC. Um, Maybe they're just trying to get a good position, but I think the UK are going to be faster than they are. I mean, these are L4. Oh, these are L4s. L6. Wow. And these are light infantry. And there is some forces over here, so they could actually try to go for... Uh, they're hidden. Oh, man, they're hidden. I hope the UK have something in there, because that'd be terrible to lose that way. Also, that's what practice my my uh, my pans, like my camera pan. I'm trying to like do more cinematic battles, and you have to like learn how to pan so it's like a smooth shot, you know. So it's not like a woo woo. It's more of like a smooth. That's a beautiful artillery shot, though. That artillery, like I said, is just gonna be a pain in the coalition's butt.
they're gonna have to ignore it and keep pressing it forward. Uh, the French are gonna go up to LSC and try to hold it. Oh, the UK are almost there. All right, if they coordinate some Dragoons and some 64, they can do it. We'll see, yeah, they're running for the LSC. They know they have to take it before. Oh, come on, these guys need to just get in the LSC. Just stand to your, oh, come on, can the French do it? They're Vayna charging the UK. Oh, they got a volley off. And the sound is being laggy again. I apologize for up screwed the sound so much. I'm sure it's because I'm fast forwarding. But I think the UK are sadly, they're gonna get there before the French. The French are gonna have to hold. Oh, what the heck? Come on. Sam, come back. Return to me. Uh, so they're gonna probably try to uh, charge. Yep, they're gonna charge these guys as they're going into the house. Just a. Uh, this building has fallen to the enemy. Just to let you know, though, it does it does lag the game when you charge and it's going into the house. But they made it to the house, unfortunately. This guy is like getting a pot shot off. All right. Hey, I haven't done this twice, but maybe this will save it. This is it, guys. They can go for the house and try to uh, do something here. But, oh, the bayonet charge or cap charge. Why won't you guys have shooting effects? Ah, we have Fusiliers countercharging to save the square. All right, they took one far in the other side here. Um... We do have the French going in though with full melee here. And uh, they could still take this LOC. The French just need to get there before the rest of the UK um, arrive. Where do they enter from? Here they come. <laughs> the first one. Second one. Ooh, get stabbed up. Alright, they're entering to two sides. Oh, they took it, didn't they? They did take it. Do they form square? Alright, I mean, I guess you have to do it where you can. Alright, this sound is just... That's gonna... There we go. Well, unfortunately, the Sam, for some reason, just for scenarios, is a little Our buggy, are running, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. It's just the end of the battlefield. We heard it in the beginning. Um, let's see if the UK can make a decisive attack. They did take one LC here, so it's just a matter of who can take it. Our horse artillery is up here. Um, the UK, the way that you have to play this when someone does an LSC stop like this is wrap the units around them. And sometimes they'll just mass route this light infantry. So that's what they're probably gonna have to do here. Like I said, once again, I apologize to the sand. I'm not sure why it is. Oh, look, the officer got a shot off. Nice. Yeah, the French are just gonna start mass routing, which could just trigger, you know, this unit to mass route as well. Oh, look at this. We have the officer and the bugler. They're just staring like, oh. What has what has this become? They're like best friends. Do I have a soldier from the 20, 20, 28th? I should do that. I mean, we, you know how it ends for them, though. Well, maybe I still will. Oh, they're holding. They are holding. Oh, they are. Oh, combat at an allied general has been slain. That could just trigger the mass route. They're wavering already. The UK just have to charge in here. They're wavering. Can they survive? The UK are going to probably just try to outshoot them. There we go. All right. Well, this is going to be the end of the fight, I do believe. Um, I may just skip to the end. The UK holding the building. 
So LLC and I'd say team deathmatch or deathmatch wise the French lost Did not expect that about halfway through the fight. I really did not expect to see this that happen. Has fallen to the enemy. So, you know well done both sides. It was a bloody fight and uh, Talk about a vicious one. It, it was it was rough So I made a skip to the end results here guys. There's a couple artillery that is need to be dealt with. We do have some, some, uh, some artillery pieces here, some four banders that are gonna try to uh, break. It's artillery versus artillery. Who has the better artillery piece? Are they gonna mutually route? Maybe that'd be convenient. Oh, they broke. All right. Well, that just leaves us one unit way back here. Artillery piece so they can just fall back. We do have infantry that are just gonna bayonet charge them and kill them And I'll skip to the end so we can see how bloody this fight actually was And the source artillery was saved from so much only to All die at the very end fun. Very sad, but you know, it's okay. All right. Well anyways guys I will skip to the end results and uh, we will see this glorious fight all right, guys, sadly for me, scenarios are still broken. Um, don't get to see the stats. I get to see well, the one of the French players, though, and see how well they did. Um, their Dragoons got some really good kills. The Cav for the French definitely was definitely king on this field. Um, but unfortunately, their line infantry... And this was like they were a Cav core. Okay, so one of them was Cav only. Um, th yeah, just the infantry weren't able to make a... a uh, a decisive push and it ended up just being a bloody I mean both sides had to have very few losses or very few men left on both sides even the, like the, the Spanish were gone the UK were pretty bloodied so close battle I'd say but well played anyway guys uh, I hope you enjoyed as this battle as much as I did and number three never gets old so um, if you have any good replays and you want to send them in you can go by discord and pop them in the replay channel and I'll get to them when I can um, it helps if you post like a end results tab or a screenshot like this with, but actually has the numbers you know um, that helps give me a good idea of what to expect and I appreciate it right, anyway guys that's it for me today thank you all so much for joining me you guys have a great rest of your day stay safe and I will catch you all in another video